So tonight on the menu is a broccoli cheddar soup. I actually added some cauliflower as well to kind of offset the soup and make it a little bit more full of veggies. Um, and then I'm having some just plain chicken breast with um, some pink Himalayan sea salt and cracked black pepper. And then I am having some pickle spears. So this is our dinner for tonight. And if you are a trim healthy mama, this is an S meal. And for dessert, I have an outrageous brownie. So for dinner tonight, I am doing a English cucumber with some grape tomatoes and a little bit of dressing. I've used this Olive Garden Italian dressing. It's so delicious. Um, so I put that on top. And then we are doing the ham and green beans. Um, the kids are going to get apple slices, and I think that's probably about it. Um, the ham, I cooked, I think, a little too long. Uh, not happy with that. But, oh well, it's going to be um, thrown into, like, other meals and in um, scrambled eggs and stuff throughout the week. So, um, yeah. For my drink, I am doing a Trim Healthy Mama drink. This is called GGM, or Good Girl Moonshine. It's an um, apple cider vinegar drink, and it's so delicious. It tastes sort of like a juice, but there is apple cider vinegar in there, and oh my goodness, apple cider vinegar is so good for you. Um, yeah, it's really delicious. There's like tea and um, some ginger, and oh my gosh, it's so good. So here is what is on our dinner menu tonight. We are having taco salads. My husband and the kiddos are having uh, their taco salad over nacho chips. I am just using mine over a bed of lettuce. So if you're doing Trim Healthy Mama, this would be an S meal. I've done um, emails, energizing meals for breakfast as well as at lunch and as we know those are kind of lighter sort of meals so I'm really looking forward to a big filling full salad for my dinner. So for my dinner I'm going to have some strawberries and blackberries, two fried eggs and then some tomato and this is some melted mozzarella. So for dinner tonight I'm having chicken parmesan on Dreamfields noodles with a side salad. So for dinner tonight, I'm having a pasta dish again. Um, this is the sauce that is on here is something that I just kind of whip up myself. There's Parmesan cheese, some sour cream, um, onions, and some garlic salt in it. And then we are having some um, sautéed uh, extra lean kielbasa on top. And then I'm also doing a large salad with cucumbers, tomatoes, and some ranch dressing. And the kids are having the same, but they are also having grapes. So for dinner tonight, I am having uh, two cheddar brat sausages, and I'm having a large salad with this Olive Garden Italian dressing. It is so, 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 so good. We get that from Costco, and then I'm just having mustard with my cheddar brats. So for tonight's dinner, I'm having a deconstructed fajita. So basically, this is just some lettuce, sautéed peppers. We've got yellow, red, and orange, and onions as well. Um, some grape tomatoes, some avocado, chicken, and some sour cream and cheese. I don't have salsa, which is kind of a big bummer, but it's going to be delicious anyways. The kids are having this as well, only they are also having some pineapple. Tonight my family is having mini pizzas. These are on nan breads. And so I have just used some Hunt's tomato sauce as the pizza sauce and some marble cheese uh, to top the nan breads. These two right here are for my husband. Um, he really likes peppers, so we stuck some on two pizzas for him. He'll probably have three of these. The kids will likely devour two each. Um, and I am going to have a fruit smoothie, um, a protein smoothie, for dinner. I'm not really hungry, but I know I will be later, so um, if you can't hear, I'm a little under the weather, so that will be fine for me. Um, this is a super fast, easy, easy recipe. I mean, it's a really recipe, but I literally pulled these out of the freezer, let them sit on my counter for about half an hour, and then I put them on the tray, and I put them on in the oven on uh, broil. 
on low for just a couple minutes and then I pulled them out, flipped them over and did that again to make sure that they were thawed and then I dressed them. My family is out right now swimming and when they come home I can stick these in the oven and they will take just a few minutes to melt the cheese and they will be good to go. I'm going to serve this with some baby carrots and applesauce and that's dinner for tonight. Well, hey friends, here is a look at tonight's dinner. So this is an entire chicken breast, just shredded. I've made my own barbecue sauce for it. Um, I've just mixed ketchup and um, mustard and a little bit of sweetener with it. Um, it. If you are following Trim Healthy Mama, I just used a bit of gentle sweet, and I just mixed it to taste. Um, it's not completely a barbecue flavor, however... It's enough that makes me feel like I'm eating barbecue um, without all of the added sugar that is in barbecue sauce. <clears throat> I still need to find a really good um, alternative barbecue sauce for myself. Um, we're also having peas. And this right here is my absolute favorite dish, and I've been waiting since last summer to eat it. Actually, last fall. Um, and it is three cheese yellow squash casserole. I couldn't find yellow squash all throughout the winter. It's basically just yellow zucchini, um, and I couldn't find that all throughout the winter, so I've been waiting to find it. Um, I will leave a link to this recipe down below. I found it on Pinterest, and the topping that I use, um, the recipe calls for gluten-free crackers or almond meal. I have neither of those, so I actually have just been using coconut flour, and I mix it with a bit of uh, half and half to moisten it and some butter to just make a crumbly topping and it um, is good for us. So this is what my family is having. It's the very same thing. Um, my husband just having uh, traditional barbecue sauce and same with the kiddos. I will actually probably give them a, some fruit as well. And I'll just make mention to one thing really quick here. It looks like my kids don't really have much food uh, to eat and the reason that is is because I was finding that by giving them larger portions, they were not eating it at all. And oftentimes, sometimes this doesn't even go eaten. And so it feels very wasteful to give them a big portion of chicken or vegetables and things like that. And they're not um, going to eat them. And basically, it just either goes in the fridge to try again or it goes into the garbage. So that's why they get a very small portion of... Um, of some of mainly protein, um, and I have a feeling they will not even touch the casserole. Um, so I just give them a teeny tiny bit and to try and taste. And if they don't eat it, then I've not wasted anything. And I they only get what is on their plate. So if they don't eat what is their meal is, um, they don't have any dessert. If we happen to have dessert that evening, and we don't give them anything else, so this is what's for dinner. And if you don't want to eat it. Well, too bad. <laughs> so that's just kind of how we handle things at our house. So they will get a fruit with this, and they'll likely probably just eat their peas and the fruit. So